Sajo. I am a graduate engineer. I do series and construction related works. And uh, in this video today, I want to show you about uh, masonry works, uh, how masonry works are done, the process they use to build such structures. What you see here is a masonry wall. In my video today, I'm showing you the step-by-step -step process of building such a wall in a stride and the checks that engineers on site do for such structures. We're going to talk about masonry tools and equipment. We're going to talk about uh, materials. We're going to talk about the process of making masonry structures. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to watch the rest of my videos. With me are uh, some tools that masons use on When you talk about masons, mason is now the part of doing this work. So masonry, I didn't define masonry before. Masonry is a process of building structures from, from single units. By single units, I mean uh, blocks or bricks. These blocks or bricks are built together, you see, they are stacked together by mortar to form now this structure. So the person that is doing that is who we call the master. So every master has some tools. Every master should have tools. And these are some of the few important tools that masons should have. We have this one. This is uh, called a spirit level. I will show you how it is being used. The next very important tool any muscle should have is a trowel. You will see how it is used. We have a we have a plumber. This is also very important. It is what is used to check the verticality of the wall. If you see this one, you will see that it's, it's very vertical. This is what has been used to make sure that that wall is vertical. Then we have this one. This is called a mason square. This is used to make sure that when the walls are meeting at 90 degrees, they do so. We, do, we use this to make sure that the walls are meeting at right, right angles. So you can see how it is used in the field. And then, uh, last but not least, is a tape measure. Every person should know how to read these tape measures because they use this to find uh, openings like doors. If they have to place doors, they should use this to identify the space, to size the openings, the doors and windows. So I'm going to show you how these tools are used by masons. That has been built. I'm going to show you how the equipment, the tools I showed you are always being used here. First of all, I'm starting with this. This is a muscle square. It was used to make sure that these two works are meeting at right angles. So when, some, when these blocks were being placed, the muscle used this here to make sure that the walls are meeting at 90 degrees. As you can see, if it fits like this, tightly like this, this ensures that the walls are meeting at 90 degrees and that is what we want. So this is very important for masonry. The next one is spirit level. It is used to make sure that the blocks that are horizontally are at the same level. Every time the blocks have been placed, the masonry uses this make sure that they are at the same level horizontally. If you can see here, this is done by making sure that the bubble in the spirit level is centered like that. So this one just 
tells us that all these blocks are at the same level. This plumb bob is, uh, is used to measure the verticality of the wall, like you see. So, how do you use this object? Or do you do this? This is your block. You will place the plumb bob like this and make sure that the bob itself and the block has a space of less than 3 mm so when you drop it down like this throughout the wall and you maintain that space then that shows that this wall is vertical the plumb up should not touch the wall like this for example you should not have a plumb up touching your blocks sorry what will i use this So the space should not be too big, nor the plumb of the wall. So another tool that I want to use is the trowel. So this is used to fill this water. So if it will have some water here, you will see how we scoop that water and place it between the blocks. So those are some of the tools that muscles use. Now, where do we come in as engineers here? We come in what? We look at the motor joints. The motor joints should be at most 25 mm. So when we're looking at muscle structures, we make sure that these joints are between 20 to 25 mm. And also this motor bed. They should be 25 mm. We look at the quality of the blocks. The blocks will be of good quality. The other thing that we look at is the joints. We have to make sure that we don't have straight joints. I think this is a joint where we have a joint here and see somewhere here, very close to the other joint. So we have to avoid those joints to make sure that the wall is strong enough. If you have straight joints in case of a crack, the crack will just follow the joints throughout the wall and make the wall weak. Another thing that we look at is like for engineers on site you have to look at the motor. You have to look at the motor ratios. The motor ratios for every given construction is defined in our big making it seen well. Then after every two courses, you have to make sure that your muscles are providing the upper. So basically that is what we do in muscle. The other very important thing that we do in muscle is curing. After the wall is built, you have to cure it for 14 days for it to gain strength. Cement gains strength to 
produce the reaction with water. The process is called hydration. So the moment you equivalent in these walls, you make sure that the walls are becoming strong and that they require strength. Another thing that we check in our is levels. What you see here, this is a, a, a structure with a soapy cut given. So every other place we check the levels of this wall to make sure that blocks along the same coast. This is what we call a coast, this one. This is a coast. So we have to check that the levels at every coast is same throughout the structure. So that's all about the masonry. Don't forget to subscribe once again and welcome you to the new channel.